Um, so someone called Robin, um, who's been watching the webinar, has asked, how do I set up my payment terms? And what would you advise her to do? So your payment term, that's a nice easy one. Thank you for breaking me in gently there. Um, so payment terms tend to be on your, set, on your sales invoices. So it would be something that you would just kind of put on your invoice branding theme um, at the bottom of, of there. Um, you may, in some cases, um, if it is maybe a, kind of a big debt, you may have a credit agreement in place for the payment terms. But if you're talking about the odd um, invoice here or not too much money, then it would just be kind of declaration on the sales invoice just to say, I expect payment in 14 days, 30 days, etc. Thanks. That's a nice easy one. Thanks so much, Ashley. Um, we've got a couple more questions in here as well. So another one in from Rob Stark on what happens to the prompt payment scheme? The prompt payment scheme, I'm not sure about that one. So That's okay. Can't, can't advise on that, I'm afraid. That's no worries. Lucky enough, we have a couple more. Um, and there's someone asking here, how do they move out of Excel? Is that a, is a more technical one? I know that's that that's cool. So um, again, the great thing about working in the cloud is um, you can very easily manipulate the data into some of the templates. So you can really import the data really quickly and easily into into zero to convert from um, Excel um, over onto a solution. Of course, that's a great opportunity to reach out to your accountant because um, they will be able to help you with that conversion and get you moved over and really would recommend getting off Excel. Um, really hard to have the clarity of information and analyze where your business is uh, and um, for that for that growth. So move over. But yeah, easy to import it or reach out to your accountant or bookkeeper. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, so we have a final question here actually as well, which kind of relates to finding an accountant or a bookkeeper. So someone is asking how to find an advisor or a mentor or is that one for, for a separate conversation no that's that's it's good i mean um i could share my screen again but um well what you can do i mean there is the various places um google is a good start but um if you are using zero you do have on the zero homepage at the top you can go and find accountants and bookkeepers in your local area um, and again they're all on our partner program they've all been approved um, but yeah so there are great um, areas to go and have a look at but that is a, that's a good one to start in my opinion because uh, use zero excellent and I think I think our lovely friend Rob Stark has um, expanded on his prompt payment scheme question okay. as well it was prompt payment code I think he was asking about yeah uh, prompt payment code still haven't got a clue <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try to stand in the dark. <laughs> Sorry, no worries. Yeah, okay. no worries. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to get you an answer to that one, Rob. We don't have it. I mean, I, I, could, I could talk about, I mean, it, it might be referring to prompt payment discount, but I'm not sure whether that uh, it is. A bit, I mean, again, it's a good it's a good point to raise if you are talking about that, because what you can do is say, for example, on your sales invoices for your customers, um, you can set a discount. So if they pay you within your payment term, you can give them 5% discount off of their invoice. Um, so if that's what they're talking about, that is a useful uh, a useful tool to have in your back pocket if you ha are running into cash flow difficulties. So good point if that was mentioned. If not, sorry. That's fantastic. No, thanks very much for that, Ashley. And we have had another question come in while we've been talking as well. Um, and it, it's a kind of a more technical one. I think you might have mentioned it as well in your uh, in your presentation or in your in your, your question. But uh, Jamie's asking, what can you do in the cloud that you can't do in Excel? What can you do in the cloud that you can't do in Excel? Okay. So where do I start, really? So you can the the good thing with Excel is that you, you can manipulate your data really easy. But if you're comparing with Excel with a, um, an accounting solution, for example, like Xero, the problem that you have in Excel is that you have just a mass of data there. So it's really hard to kind of drill down, kind of analyze the business. Um, and often is the case, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've used Excel in the past where I used to work. Um, often the case would be, it would be off, full of errors as well. So not only are potential errors there, 
and it's hard to read the data, but you haven't got the real-time information in there either. So you're always looking in your rearview mirror. So if, for example, um, you might as well be using, using back of a fag packet or using uh, a piece of paper because all you're doing is you're looking historically, you're recording transactions that have happened. Um, and by having the information into zero um, in real time, again, you can't do that necessarily in Excel unless you're constantly looking at your bank statements all the time, um, literally glued to them but you can have that information in real time there. So I think that's the main thing. Having the, the information in real time, being able to automate your processes so you're not looking at a spreadsheet, um, um, I don't know, a couple of hours every day. I mean, you can save all of that time and use the real time information to invest into your business and, and, and make it grow. Brilliant, thanks very much for that answer, Ashley. Um, and the last question, very last question today, I promise, um, is <laughs> do you back up the cloud? Okay, that's a, that's a really interesting one. It's, it's often, it, when I first started working at Zero, it was a question that come up quite a lot because cloud was kind of this mysterious thing. Um, nowadays, it's a lot more inherent. People um, use it uh, um, uh, with apps and things like that. I think that's one thing that's kind of um, changed the conversations around what the cloud is. But in terms of data and, and backing it up, um, I can't speak for all cloud providers, but I know um, Zero. we continually back up the data. So it's constantly being backed up. So it's all secure, the data is yours. And what we also have is we have a, mo a multi-location server base. Uh, without getting too technical, what that means is the data is stored in one, more than one location. So if something did happen or something did go wrong, we've got um, data recovery there. So you wouldn't even feel any, any different to the service and the data is all safe. And again, if you do compare that to an Excel or a, a kind of a desktop um, solution, it's a hell of a lot more secure. You think about it, if you're running a business on a laptop or on a computer and it gets stolen and you drop it, you down the toilet. I'm not sure you would drop a laptop on the toilet though. But um, if you dropped it, then it would, um, or it got stolen, you wouldn't be able to replace that data if you didn't back it up. And even if you do back it up occasionally, um, that can also corrupt as well. So data is all there. You can access it 24 7. You've got your secure email and password there. Again, make sure you set a, a secure password and you don't share that around. Um, yeah, all safe and sound. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Ashley. As I said, that was the last question. So unless there's anything else you'd like to add about your presentation or about uh, any of the questions you received today, um, I think it's a wrap. No, I just uh, thank everyone for taking the time to um, watch it this afternoon. Really appreciate your time, you know how valuable it is, and hopefully you found it useful. Um, don't forget, you can go and find lots of information about um, running your small business on zero.com, and you can go and have a look at the small business guides. Particularly, there is a cash flow small business guide there, and lots of valuable information, so go and check that out. Mm -hmm.